Was the King of Pop an immortal ancient princess? Was his life taken by the Illuminati? These are the creepiest conspiracy theories about Michael Jackson. What's going down, Mouse Nation, and welcome back. Today, we're going to be discussing the creepiest conspiracy theories about Michael Jackson. But before we get started, keep in mind that this video is for entertainment purposes. But who here can truly say what goes on behind the doors of one of the biggest, richest, and most powerful celebrities in the world? And today, we're getting started with a bang. Or should I say bang bang? Michael Jackson cloned himself. As if one king of pop wasn't enough, imagine two. It's been said that Michael Jackson was really into the idea of cloning himself after the successful cloning of Dolly the Sheep. And if anyone was rich enough to make it happen with a net worth of over $500 million, it was him. It's said that he contracted European genetic scientists in order to clone himself. He would have his sperm safely held inside of medical facilities around the world to make sure that this could happen even if it was after his death. This claim came from the director of the New York Center for Extraterrestrial Research, Michael C. Luckman, who stated that he heard it from the late celebrity fashion designer, Andre Van Pierre, who designed stage costumes for Michael Jackson and his sister Janet. Not exactly sure that this is the kind of guy that I would take this kind of information from, but what do you guys think? Michael Jackson was a product of MK Ultra. If you haven't heard of MK Ultra, then here is a quick recap. It was a top secret CIA project that had many experiments, including many illegal ones on unknowing US citizens. These experiments included the use of drugs, techniques, and medical procedures to test mind control, information gathering, and psychological torture. Pretty insane stuff if you ask me. But how is MJ involved? Well, many celebrities are used by the government in order to control the masses, to dumb us down. And Michael Jackson was definitely one of those superstars. He was an acceptable black entertainer and he was used as their puppet. He was supposedly used to reinforce stereotypes and to keep Americans divided. Now the bigger Michael got, the more he turned away from the government, which was controlled by the Illuminati and their message. He began trying to warn others through his music. He wanted to warn others who may have been put through MK Ultra and its experiments to know that they weren't alone. He used the motif of duality to do so. From his skin color of black and white, through his hit song and even his dangerous era artwork used a black and white checkered pattern. MJ eventually became paranoid before passing away, claiming that people were after him. Which brings us to the next theory. He was killed by federal agents and the Illuminati. In this theory, the US government, which was controlled by the Illuminati, felt that it was time to cut ties with the King of Pop. They began having false molestation charges brought up against him and eventually causing his death through nefarious means. Then framing Michael's doctor to cover their crimes. Michael's daughter, Paris Jackson, even told Rolling Stone magazine back in 2017 that she felt that her father was murdered in a calculated fashion. Wow. Michael Jackson was chemically castrated. What makes this theory so crazy is that Michael's doctor, who maintains that he is innocent in the charge of manslaughter due to Michael Jackson's death, proclaimed this to be true in his book called This Is It, The Secret Lives of Dr. Conrad Murray and Michael Jackson. In this book, he claims that Michael's parents had arranged for him to be chemically castrated. They never removed his testicles but used injections instead so that he would keep his voice. His high-pitched voice of a child that went long beyond puberty. All so they could continue to use him as a tool to make more money. Awful thought. Michael Jackson was an immortal ancient Egyptian princess. Okay, so this one is a bit wacky. 
there is a very real 3,000 year old ancient Egyptian statue that bears a striking resemblance to Michael Jackson himself. Once people saw it, they began to speculate whether or not it was Michael Jackson. Was he an alien? Was he some sort of ancient immortal? Along with this statue, there is a painting called A Portrait of a Young Man by Barrett Fabricius, who lived during the 15th century. What do you think? Michael Jackson faked his own death and is still alive. In this theory, it's stated that Michael faked his own death using a wax figure and later a cancer hospice patient. He paid off his doctor to take the blame, that way he could escape crippling debt, or you know, the Illuminati. Along with many sightings of MJ, coroners reported that he was completely bald with his face caved in. While photos of him in the ambulance looked completely different, he had hair and looked relatively healthy. Along with this, neither Conrad Murray or the coroner's office wanted to sign his death certificate. But why? Maybe because he was still alive. Michael Jackson was killed by Iran. What better way to distract attention away from Iran's elections and protests? Supposedly, Michael was ordered to be killed by the former president of Iran, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. To create this diversion, replacing those protests that were trending on the internet with Michael's death. What do you guys think? Which of these do you guys believe? Did I miss any? Let us know in the comments below. As always, I'm your host Morty Mouse. I'll see you later, or I'll see you at another time.